Hi, I'm Brian Kleinman of Riverside Reptiles, and uh, today we're going to feed uh, the yellow anaconda. Now, I've been working with anacondas for about 10 years now, and I find that they're an awesome species to work with. They, um, they are very challenging, um, especially when feeding, because they are pound for pound one of the most strongest constrictors I have ever worked with. Um, with that being said, uh, we are going to watch how powerful this animal is. Now I'm going to feed uh, this yellow anaconda. He's about eight years old right now and he's uh, about 10 feet long. The yellow anacondas don't get as long as uh, the green anacondas, which are considered one of the largest snakes in the world. Um, but uh, they still, you know, have the same attitude sometimes as the, uh, the green anaconda. So let's uh, give him his lunch. Here he is awaiting his meal. I'm going to very carefully slide the glass open. And there he is. He definitely smells his rat. Get a close up look at him. He's moving back a little bit. Let's see if it will entice me to come a little closer. Here is um, lunch. the yellow anaconda. Now that he has his rat in his mouth, we can pull him out a little bit. Now that he's preoccupied. There he is. Now even though this rat is obviously was dead when I fed it to him, um, captive bred snakes are often acclimated to eating dead rodents. Um, they constrict it anyway and you know obviously you know it's dead you can't kill it anymore it's just their instinct but they also constrict they wrap their body around it because it anchors the food for them so they can push their mouths over the food is what she's doing right now it's kind of hard to see there you go and you can see on his lower jaw which is kind of neat um, they have two individual lower mandibles, so there is no attachment at the chin, where the chin would be. Uh, so they can open up their lower jaws to expand over the food item. There he is. It's kind of dark in this cage, it's kind of hard to see, and I don't want to bother him too much because if you poke a snake too much while it's eating, um, it will release its food to defend itself um, and if it's already eaten and you keep prodding the snake they will regurgitate their food um, in a sense that will make their body lighter so if it was a predator they'd be able to escape so we're not going to poke him anymore because I want him to be happy and healthy and we'll let him eat his rat in peace.